Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you about the font styles in HTML. What are the font styles, styles are available? How are we going to use it? And how, what about the tags which we are going to use here? So all these things we are going to learn in this video. So let's start with the program. I've just started a program. I just gave a comment line. So how to give a comment line? We just learned this in the previous video. And then I just gave the uh, HTML starting and then head title then Inside the title, I just gave font styles. Sorry, we should not have this closed. Then I am closing the title. Then I'm closing the head. Next, I'm opening the body. Okay. So now I'm just going to uh, type a uh, few statements. Okay. So in this, I'm going to add some font styles, which we did not do in the previous examples. Okay. So what are the font styles are available? In MS Word, we have already learned some font styles. You remember? We have font face, which is the font style which we use to type in different hand style, handwriting style and then the font size okay then we have bold you remember bold making the text bold and then italic the slanting text is and then underlining the text then we have subscript superscript striking through small making the text smaller than the text which is surrounding the other uh, the same text okay and then we are going to use a new thing here is pre tag okay so all these things we are going to learn in this uh, video so the first one is bold tag so bold tag is used to make your text bold than the other text so this is used to make your text thicker than the normal uh, text okay so i'm just going to type so here for this making this text bold we are going to use the tag b okay so that is the tag for making the text bold b okay so i'm just typing something as computer science okay so now as we are learning about container tags we must need to close this b okay else if you are not closing this b tag throughout your program till the end of the program all your text will appear as bold only in your website okay next we are going to learn about italic tag okay so italic tag same here we are going to use the uh, tag i for making the text italic i'm just typing the same text so that we'll be having some difference when you are show, uh, seeing our output so as it is a container tag we must need to close it so bold italic next we are going to see underline same here the capital U is that um, tag for underlining the text. Same text I'm using computer science. Now we are just closing it. Underline. Okay. So now as of now, the, just uh, let us check the output for this. Then we will go on to the, uh, the other uh, type of font styles. Okay. So we just made for bold, italic and underline. For bold, the tag is capital B and you need to close it. For italic, the uh, tag is capital I. Uh, of course we need to close it and then for underline we have capital u and we have to close it as these are all called container tags okay so now i'm just going to save it go to file click on save uh, so don't forget to add the um, extension dot html so that is very very important if you are not adding the extension dot html you are program will not be saved as a website it will be just saved as a normal text okay so i'm just saving it in the desktop i have html programs uh, folder i'm just opening it so i'm just going here i'm typing the name font styles you can give any name but it is compulsory to add the extension dot html along with the name of the file okay so now click save now this untitled will be untitled will be changed into font styles now our program being saved okay now i'm just going to open my um folder html programs and just double clicking on it it is opening so here is our programs which we saved inside this html programs folder and the latest program program which we saved was font styles and just double clicking on it let us see the output yes we have got our output so this is the text which we made with bold then this is italis and then this is underline all these are coming in a single line you write 
so for this only we are going to use the pre tag okay the pre formatted tag so that i'll teach you at the end of the um, video now uh, let us go back to the program and i will type the code the tag for strike through subscript and superscript okay so i think you all know about strike through now the tag for the strike through is yes this capital S okay so again I'm just typing the same text computer science now I'm just closing the strike through tag and just saving it once again only then we can see our output okay now go to the folder open it very good so we have got it the same text is coming with the strike code line. Okay, so our, uh, our line will be coming on the text which we are typing. Okay, so this is the use of strike through. Now I'm just going back to my program. Now I'm going to add two more uh, tag in this with the same program. The next two tab we are going to use is sub tag which will make the text as subscript okay so what is the use of the subscript and superscript in mathematical formulas and in chemical formulas we must need the subscript and superscript subscript will make the text present which is little below than the normal text superscript will make the text appear slightly above than the normal text okay so now let us see the subscript and superscript options so for subscript the tag is sub so i'm just going to type h2 o so for that i'm just typing h now the two should come slightly lower than the normal text for this i'm just going to use the sub tag sub 2 now we have to close the sub otherwise all the um, text will appear as a subscript okay h2 o now you can see h normally i'm not including the h in uh, inside any tag only the two is included within this sub uh, tag okay and then we have wo now i'm just saving it going to the folder and opening it okay you can see the text now h2o two, 2 is printed slightly lower than the normal text h and o are normal text the 2 is printed under the uh, i mean lower than the normal text so i think it is clear now h2o so this is bold italic underline strike through subscript next we are going to see superscript so i'm just going back to my notepad page uh, here for super superscript we are going to have a max uh, example okay now i'm going to take a plus b whole square so you just type open bracket a plus b close bracket now square should come at as a uh, superscript okay so i'm just going to use the tag sup superscript okay then square so i'm just giving the number two as it is a container tag we have to close it i'm just closing it that's it for superscript only the text which should be displayed as a superscripted text should be included within the tag okay now file save Going back to my folder and I'm opening it. Now you can see the subscript. Okay. The effect of subscript 2 is coming slightly upper than the normal text. Okay. So now all these are coming as a single line. Though my program in my program I have just given all these things one by one. Okay. So how to overcome this. Okay. For that we are just going to use a pre tag. So inside the pre tag whatever you type that will come as it is okay i'm just going to type pre okay and i'm going to type it over here i mean i'm just closing the pre tag as it is a container tag okay so now my program is ready and i'm just going to run it i just type it one by one okay so file save go to folder open it Now you can see all these are coming one by one. So however I typed in the same way it is coming. I just typed each and everything in a single line. Okay. So bold, italic, underline, strike through, subscript, superscript. All these are coming one by one as my program is having the things one by one. Suppose if I leave some space here for only the few lines. 
okay so i'm just moving it to okay so now we are doing something to uh, show how this pre tag is working now i'm just clicking file save now you can see the output see i just gave some spaces in the program it is appearing as it is even in my web page okay so this will happen only if you use the pre tag else it will appear as a single line only okay next we are going to learn about the normal uh, handwriting style changing so that is called font face changing the handwriting style of your text so that is called font face the next one is font size the normal size uh, font size changing and then the font color the text color okay all these things we are going to see one by one so now first one is font face so here we should know the name of the style okay in ms word usually we'll type and we'll select the text then we'll go to the design we'll keep click on the drop down list we'll get all the lists will be listed down okay so whichever style is okay for us for that particular document we'll just click on that that particular style will be applied for your font but here we should know the name of the font along with the correct spelling okay so now i am just going to uh, start a, a font face uh, tag so for that we just need to type open a font and then face font face is equal to with a double quotation you have to type the name of the font okay i am just taking lucida handwriting for um, example okay lucida handwriting just closing the double quotation and close the tag okay so here i am just opening the font face okay actually font is a tag and face is a attribute of the font tag right so next i am just going to type some text here life looks like a song which tune or you see i'm just typing some text to make this uh, interesting and now i'm just going to close the font okay font close so that's it this is used to show the particular text in the given font style so this is called font face i'm just going to save it now go to your browser i'm just refreshing the page you can see so this is coming in different style so all these are coming in normal text and this is coming in a different style which which the style we have selected okay so like this instead of uh, lucida handwriting you can uh, select whichever you want okay suppose if you are not aware of it if you don't know the name of it uh, how can we find it from in the same notepad go to format select font you will get a dialog box we'll get a dialog box so in this dialog box we have all the font handwriting style option font face options so in this whichever you want you can select but only thing you have to type the correct spelling let me take this papyrus p a p y r u s so i'm just going to use this over here i'll save go here refresh the page look at this it just changed so no need to worry about the name of the font style if you are not uh, aware of the uh, font style you can just go to format option and then you can click on font style you can choose the font style even from the list given in the font dialog box okay so the next one we are going to see is font size as i already said font is a tag and font face is an attribute of this font tag okay so next thing we are going to see is font size even that is a attribute of font tag so no need to open a new tag at all so in this font tag itself we can use and just mentioning size is equal to 10 or 20 let me type 20 and we are just closing the font alone we are not closing the face we are not closing the size and all as these are all the attributes you no need to close all these things now i am just saving it go to your browser refresh the page can see the difference so previously we had like a small uh, size only now it is bigger now i am just going back to here and just changing it to 10 file save browser refreshing my page 
it just got changed into 10 okay so this is how it is working so this is how you can give the size of your uh, selected text right so next we are going to see about the color font color okay so if for font color we can use two ways one is font color code another one is directly you can type the name of the color okay color code i will give in the description box what are the color codes are available but mostly we'll use directly the color name okay so for that we have to add the attribute in the font uh, tag itself so i'm just typing color is equal to red okay this red we should give it in double quotation that is very very important and i'm just changing the size to 5 okay so the same font tag only and this adding font face font size font color now file save now let us see how it is working in the web page it's very good so here is our text the size the style and even the color has been changed you can see the difference for all these things so that's why i'm writing all the tags within a single program only then you can understand the difference right so this is how the color is working okay so next we are going to see about base font tag base font tag is used to set a basic font settings font style font face font size basic settings for your whole web page document okay so that is uh, fixed for all the pages suppose in some cases if you want to change the style the size only in that case you have to mention plus two or minus two or whatever it is okay in that case we are going to use a base font now let me show you a different uh, i'm just going to take a different one base font face is equal to within double quotation i'm just taking tahoma here and then size is equal to four so i'm just typing some text let us take computer science itself and we have to close base font of course as it is a container tab now let us see how it is going to work Yes, we have got it over here so as far as some browsers are concerning they will not support some type of um, font styles okay so Tahoma is not working here so that's why we are getting like this but you can try actually this is the correct font style font phase everything suppose if you want to change the base font you have to uh, change it like um, let me show you the other thing okay uh, I'm just going to change the font uh, size. Font size is equal to what I have to do is I have to increase the size plus 5. Already I have given 4. Now I'm just giving plus 5, which means and the uh, size of the text will be as 9. I'm just closing it. Computer science. Now I have to close this font. file save now i'm going to the browser and i'm going to running on it yes you can see the difference this we have given us basic font size 4 and this is font size plus 5 so totally it is 9 so this is how it is working actually i zoomed it okay so if you see it, it this is the normal size of your browser okay to make it clear i just zoomed the pages okay so this is how it will look like in your web page right so this is how all these font attributes font styles font tags are working right so if you have any doubt you can put me in the comment box so i've given all these in a single program you can try it with different programs also you can try with try it with the different uh, text also so whichever is possible you can try and you can let me know how it is working happy learning thank you